What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is the sciatica routine for pain relief and rehabilitation. There's a common misconception out there that you can perform one to two stretches and your sciatica is just gonna magically disappear. Well, unfortunately, that simply isn't the case. What you really need is a comprehensive rehabilitation program that you can perform two to four times per week with stretching and strengthening. And that's just what we have for you here today. While there is no equipment required, you may want to have either a band or towel on hand for a couple of the exercises. If you're ready to go, let's begin. We're going to begin our routine today by moving down to the floor. That's going to be the safest place for us to complete these moves. Sitting down on your backside, and then we're going to lie down on our backs and perform what's called a figure four. I'm going to start by planting both feet firmly into the floor, and then I'm going to bring my left foot up onto my right knee. So I'm performing the exact same movements that he's done so far, except with my band or with your towel. Bring it underneath your right leg, about underneath your kneecap, but in between your hamstring. Where I'm gonna actually reach through my legs, wrap my fingers around the back of my hamstring, and now we're both going to gently pull that knee towards our bodies. And of course, I'm using my band to help me pull. So it really depends if you feel comfortable, if you have the flexibility to reach. And we're just gonna hold here. This is a static stretch. We're gonna perform several static stretches today. And in all of them, we wanna to get to about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. We're feeling a good stretch, but we are not inducing any pain. Big deep breaths here as we hold, and you're gonna feel this one throughout your hamstring, your glute, as well as your IT band, and of course your piriformis and that sciatic where that sciatic nerve comes through your glute. For three, two, one, relax. Let's go ahead and bring those feet back down. And let's switch legs. So even if you only have sciatic nerve pain on one side, we wanna perform all of these moves on both sides. So again, we're gonna reach through either with your hands or with that band, keeping your head relaxed on the floor and we're pulling and stretching that hip. Again, just a static hold here. Nice, big, deep breaths. And don't be alarmed if you find that one side is tighter than the other. That is completely normal. We're just gonna take both sides, again, to that 85, 90% threshold. We're gonna come back, repeat this routine again, and every time you're gonna get a little bit better. One, 2% better every time. And that's gonna help get us through this rehabilitation. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Bring those feet back down. All right, our next one is very similar. We're gonna perform what's called a piriformis stretch. So the setup is similar, where we need to get that. Now I'm going back to my opposite side. So I'm getting that left foot up on my right knee. The difference on this one is now I'm gonna place both hands on my left knee and I'm gonna gently pull it towards my opposite side shoulder. So I have my left knee, and I'm pulling it toward my right shoulder, and then back. So this one is more of a dynamic stretch. One of the compounding causes of sciatic nerve pain is actually that sciatic nerve getting caught up in the sciatic foramen. And we wanna use this move here to loosen up and to release that nerve. So again, it's a gentle stretch, We're going through a nice range of motion. And as you progress through it, you'll probably feel a little more comfortable pulling on the leg just ever so gently more. Again, pulling it towards that opposite side shoulder. 
So we're not just taking it to the right, we're not taking it straight back, but on a nice angle towards that opposite side shoulder, all the way through that full range of motion. Excellent. We're gonna do this one for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and set that foot down. Opposite side now. So let's bring that right foot up on the left knee. And we're gonna perform that piriformis stretch on the opposite side, both hands on the knee. And now bring my right knee to my left shoulder and return again, going through that full range of motion here. And you should expect some of these moves to be uncomfortable today. You know, if you're dealing with sciatic nerve pain, you know, I don't have to tell you it is uncomfortable, but we're gonna have to grit through a little bit of pain and uncomfortableness here today so that we can progress. It's gonna take a little bit of a challenge, but that challenge is where our change is gonna come from. The last thing we want to do is completely ignore because unfortunately that's just going to make it worse. I was going to just say sciatic never goes away, I feel like. <laughs> not, on, yes, not on its own, that is for sure. Definitely not a pain you can ignore. Nope. So again, that's why we recommend repeating this routine between two to four times per week for three, two, one, and zero. All right, so we're staying down on our backs. Now let's extend our legs out flat in front of us. Another compounding factor for sciatic nerve pain is a tight backside, and specifically tight hamstrings. So let's relax our hands at our side and I'm gonna bring my right straight leg up while keeping my glutes and lower back flat on the floor and then return that leg down. Now we're gonna do the same move with your left leg, straight left leg up. Now, depending on your flexibility, your pain level, many contributing factors, you might be like right here, like where you can only bring that left straight leg up, you know, three to four inches. Or you may feel really flexible on this one and be able to bring it all the way up without a lot of pain. So I want you to decide which height of bringing your leg up is appropriate for you. No one knows your body better than you do, but I want you to keep your glutes, uh, in your lower back, glued to the floor on this one, as we gently move through alternating right and left legs. And you'll probably find on this move that as you're going through it, yeah, you know, you're actually gonna improve your mobility, if you will. Maybe you're loosening up and you can now bring up your legs a little higher than you could on the first couple of repetitions. And that's to be expected. So it's working already. Loosening up those hamstrings, calves, glutes, and lower back with this one. Nice and controlled, not a race. We are moving through the dynamic stretch, but this is not a intense movement by any means. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent, okay. So we're staying down here, and this next one is called a hamstring glide. So for this one, I'm gonna wrap my hands behind my leg and grab that hamstring. Notice I have my band again, so if you need it, pull it out. So again, totally up to you which one is right for you. And I'm gonna try to get this upper thigh perpendicular to the floor. Now I'm my opposite leg is lying flat on the floor. I'm gonna extend and straighten my leg the best that I can. All the way up, all the way down. And again, you may be able to straighten your leg out nicely like a ballerina, or you may be struggling to get past 45 degrees. And honestly, it doesn't really matter as long as you're taking it to the point where you're feeling a good stretch, but also not where you're feeling pain. This move, yes, is stretching your hamstring muscles, glute muscles. But in addition to that, we talked about earlier, we have those nerves that get caught up and a lot of times that's what's causing that numbness that you may be experiencing down your leg. And this is a great move to help free those nerves. For three, two, one, zero. Let's gently place that leg back down. And of course, now we have to do the same move on the opposite side. So again, I'm gonna set up with my hands behind that leg and Claudia is still using her band. And let's begin. Again, don't be alarmed here if one side is tighter than the other. 
Just work each side independently, doing the best that it can. Nice, gentle breathing throughout. We want to exhale on the hardest part of this movement, which is, of course, going to be lifting your leg in the air there. That's it. So we're inhaling as the leg is coming down or breathing in, and then exhaling or breathing out as we extend the leg up overhead. We have 10 more seconds on this one. Four, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, let's go ahead and sit up for our next move. We're gonna perform what's called a knee crossover. So I'm gonna start with both legs extended out in front of me. And I'm gonna take my right leg and bring it over or cross over my left. Now I'm going to gently turn into that side. I'm gonna use my elbow for leverage here as I gently turn in to that side with the knee. And this is a static stretch, so we're just holding here. And again, we wanna feel a good stretch. We don't crank on it where we're really twisting and getting pain. Breathe, nice, big, deep, full breaths. Another great overall stretch for our lower back, our glutes, as well as our hips, and even a little bit of IT band here. Let's do this one for 10 more seconds. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, let's bring that leg back. And same move, opposite side now. So I'm gonna have my right straight leg extended, my left knee is bent, crossing over my right, and performing a gentle stretch using that elbow against my knee for leverage. And again, just holding here. And I have to share with you, I understand you know, the temptation to do a routine like this one and expect immediate results. And if I don't get results and I didn't feel better immediately, then I'll, that, that just didn't work. And for, I mean, you know, that's kind of how we're programmed nowadays. You know, we have short ex attention spans and we expect immediate results on everything. And unfortunately, the human body doesn't work that way. So I'm going to encourage you to, re again, to repeat this routine, to come back two to four times per week. Many times it can take between two to eight weeks for you to really get relief. And I know that probably isn't what you want to hear, but there's a lot of people who are going to tell you what you want to hear, but it's not truthful. So I'm here to tell you the truth, right? Which is what a physical therapist would be telling you if you were in their office right now. For three, two, one, zero, and relax. All right, coming back to center. Our next stretch is called a 90-90 stretch. So let's start with both knees at a 90 degree angle. Legs are open here. And I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna slowly bring it back behind me. Now, depending on your flexibility and pain level, you might immediately start cramping. If you do, you can come back for some relief here. But our goal is to get a 90 degree angle at both knees on this one. So again, if you're, you know, if you're having trouble here and you're maybe you're, you're, both your knees are up and your hips aren't quite flexible, this right here is totally acceptable. You're still getting a great hip stretch. We want to fight to try to get those knees down. It might take time. And then we want to fight to be able to sit up. And depending on your pain level, your mobility level, a lot of contributing factors, you might be anywhere in between. Now, or you might be back yep. and then forward. Yep. So whatever you need to do to get yeah, through the movement. Exactly. And if you're here and you're still feeling good, make sure that we're turned into that lead leg. And if you really want an additional stretch, now we can come forward and you can hold. Again, that's up to you. That's optional. I'm giving you plenty of tools with here, uh, here to, to make this your own. I think with me and my pregnant belly, I'm good right here. <laughs> yep. And that's <laughs> perfectly all right. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, now let's slowly come back to that starting position. We have both legs open at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna do the same move on the opposite side now. So I'm gonna take that back leg and I'm bringing it back. 
90 degree angle at both knees is what we're aiming for. And again, one side may feel much tighter than the other, totally common. Again, I'm gonna lean forward here, but you do what is gonna be best for you. This is a great one for uh, your actual the hip joint itself to improve the mobility. It's also great for our, our glutes and the, the mobility of your glutes and really just all of um, that, all the muscles that encompass that hip joint. Big deep breaths here. We're just holding. Let's do this one for 10 more seconds. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, let's go ahead and relax. Bring those legs back. And now we're gonna to move to a side lying position. So I'm gonna turn over or slide over to my left side. And we're gonna perform what's called a side lying leg raise. So let's go ahead and put my left straight arm out and I'm gonna get both legs straight, completely straight. My right leg is stacked, stacked on top of my left. And now we're gonna perform a leg raise coming up, keep that foot nice and flat almost bring your heel up depending on your flexibility mobility level you might be able to get that leg up nice and high or you might be challenged just to have it low here today we're not counting reps we're just moving at a controlled pace doing what feels good to you right now we're building up some strength in those glutes with this move is another contributing factor weak glutes is another contributing factor to sciatic nerve pain make sure you exhale as you bring that leg up that's it you're gonna feel that one in the glutes specifically that medial glute up here controlling the way up and the way down don't just bring it up and then let it flop back down but control it starting to feel it here that's a good thing for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, so now let's go ahead and we're gonna stay on this side. Let's bend our knees. So now we got about a 90 degree angle uh, at our knees. And we're gonna perform a side lying clamshell. Put my right hand on that hip as you see Claudia doing. And I'm gonna open up, keep my feet together and close, open up and close. Again, your range of motion on this may be completely different than ours. Controlled movement here. Make sure that you keep your hips nice and stacked during this whole movement. Really fight the urge to, to rotate your hips to open up your clamshell nice and wide, which is why, again, he said your range of motion may be just right here, and that's okay. I need to return back to uh, return position and start again. That's right. Do not sacrifice form to try to achieve more range of motion. That's right. For three, two, one, zero. All right. We're going to give that side a break and we're going to roll over onto our opposite side now. So it's the same move. I'm moving my mic pack here so I don't get it jammed into my hip. And it's the same move. So now I'm on my right side and we're going to that side lying leg raise, both legs straight out in front of us. Controlled, nice knife edge with the outside of your foot. And you're slowly bringing your leg up using those glute muscles, not momentum, under controlled and slowly lowering it here. Another challenging move might be challenging because your glutes aren't as strong as you'd like them to be. It might be challenging because you know your sciatic nerve pain is bothering you. We understand that, but we're not gonna get change without first being challenged. So here's the challenge part. And then we're gonna have faith that the work we're doing today is gonna get us to where we need to go. Gonna get us those results, gonna get us that change. And I do give you credit for showing up today and putting in the work in this routine. I know the easy thing to do is to take a couple of pain pills and just hope that it goes away and forget about it. But you're being proactive, you're putting in the work, and I'm proud of you for that. For three, 
two, one, zero. All right, so let's bend those knees again, 90 degree angle, hands on my hip, and I'm moving into that clamshell, opening up and closing. Very good, full range of motion without rotating. Squeeze in your glutes as you open, squeeze them right here. There oh, and I know that feels difficult, especially after those side leg raises. Yes, and that is by design. <laughs> and again, we are getting some strengthening moves in here. As we mentioned in the introduction, this is a comprehensive routine, giving you everything that you need to overcome this sciatic nerve pain. There is hope. There is life after it. That's right, but it comes through consistency. Yeah, indeed. It's not going to happen after doing this routine once. I'm just being honest with you. It's going to take some reps, but you can do it. Let's do this one for 10 more seconds. That's it. Come on. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Relax. All right, let's turn over now. We're gonna come on up into all fours, what I call a quadruped position. So on your hands and your knees. And we're gonna do a quadruped kickback. So from this position, I have my back nice and straight, uh, no rotating, no roundedness. And now I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna kick back with my right heel, trying to have a nice straight line from my head down to my heel, return. Same move, left side now, return. So as I come up, I'm trying my best not to rotate and I'm squeezing my glute up at the top and return that leg back down. Again, control here is the name of the game. Control on the way up, control on the way down, not a race. This isn't a cardio workout. This is a rehabilitation workout and we are gonna feel better. Head stays in line with your spine. I have your neck cranked up. Envision trying to balance something on your back. Great Be tip. Really deliberate with every single movement. And we're driving that heel back like we're trying to do it to the wall behind us, not to the ceiling. So you're not coming up, going straight back. Ideally, you're finishing with a straight line from your head all the way down to that heel. Breathing throughout. Let's do 10 more seconds, y'all. We're almost there. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that is it. You made it. Nice work. Nice work, Claudia. Nice work to you out there, HasFit Tribe. Thank you so much for joining us and working out with us today. And did you know that you can get even faster results by following a complete exercise program? Those exercise programs can be found on the HasFit app, which you can download to your Android or iPhone device. You can also find those on HasFit.com. You can also support us by stopping by our store, picking up some HasFit gear, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.